Welcome back to our podcast. We are the writers from Gaming Today, along with Ramon Scott. I'm Nick Pellegrino, looking at the National Hockey League games for Monday, October 8th. Moni, we got four games on the schedule. What leads us off? Well, the San Jose Sharks are going to take on the New York Islanders. The Sharks opened a buck forty-eight. They're now up to a dollar sixty. The total is six over ten. Uh, interesting to note in this one, I think that San Jose they uh, take about seven out of ten tickets early overnight, and uh, nearly two thirds of the uh, totals tickets are coming in on the over. Uh, should be interesting to note also that four of the last five times these teams have met uh, on the island, uh, if you will, it's gone over. Islanders is a road dog, aren't a bad value. First big trip of the year for the Sharks, and they haven't looked that good, especially that opening night loss to the Anaheim Ducks. I kind of lean towards the Islanders in this game. All right. Because we have a bunch of, uh, there's some big lines in this game, and you got to find some dogs and some value. I might, I might take the Islanders in the first game. The second game we'll talk about. I'll come in with the over on that game. I understand that. Game All right, uh, yeah, next up, Ottawa is at Boston. Boston uh, minus 260 uh, in this one. Three quarters of the tickets coming in on Boston overnight. Four out of every five totals tickets are coming in on the over. I will note some very sharp money uh, has come in on the under in this game. Boston's won four straight against Ottawa, but uh, Ottawa's won six out of the last eight in Boston, so uh, not much to go on there, but uh I just happen to think that at this price, the fact that uh, Ottawa sometimes plays well in Boston, I'm going to have to take a chance with a big dog here. Ottawa's played well for the first two and a half periods of all their games so far this year. They can hang in there with Boston. Might be a puck line play, but uh, I'll pass. Boston minus 260, that's ridiculous to play, so pass. All right, and our Vegas Golden Knights are going to travel to play Buffalo. Vegas opened $1.38 on the road. Slight tick up to $1.40. Heavy public interest overnight on the Vegas Golden Knights and also heavy public interest on the over. I'm showing 9 out of every 10 tickets or so coming in on the over in uh, overnight wagering. Uh, not much of opinion for me right now in this game, but uh, some interesting things to note. As I wrote in Gaming Today earlier, a couple weeks ago, the Buffalo Sabres have injuries to three of their top six defensemen. I think the Sabres could be a good team this year, maybe even finish 500, maybe contend for that last playoff berth in the East. But right now, they're not a complete team. Vegas is. That little parlay of already plays in Nevada. Vegas and the over. Why not take the Vegas Golden Knights? And then finally, the Detroit Red Wings are going to travel to play the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, in this one, no overnight line. Detroit uh, undecided right now on their goalie for Monday's game. Uh, I will note this series has been quite an under when they played in Anaheim 11-5-1, the last 17 meetings uh, in California. Anaheim 4-1 uh, versus uh, Detroit uh, at home, so kind of interesting there. Uh, I think Anaheim does hold the upper hand in this series. We'll be interested to see what the line is tomorrow. Probably Jimmy Howard will return the goal. They had their backup in last night against the Kings. L.A. wins it 4-2 to two with an empty net goal. So that killed the, the under for the total. Again, the under is the right play. Ducks uh, have a better goalie. Detroit playing back-to-back -back on the road for the first time this season. I'd lean to Anaheim. I prefer the total going under. So that'll do it for our podcast on hockey for Monday. Good luck to you all, and we'll see you next time.